All right, so thankfully we've got stuff in the back because we probably couldn't tell our story in really only three minutes, but thanks for having us. And uh, that is a beautiful <laughs> transparency of the Watchtower. So we're Siggins Town Castle, and uh, why we're here is we wanna share our experience with all of you. And um, we only have three minutes to do it, but so far we're doing community events. We'd like to do historic, historical reenactment. That's what we do uh, for fun anyways. We're trying to emphasize traditional skills, um, masonry, et cetera, and research. We've been having a lot of fun with it, and we'd like to extend that to other people. Um, so we kind of take the tagline, we're living history. I mean, we are living it, we're learning about it, we're creating it for the future. So we'd like other people to come join us. So a quick overview, we did buy it only last year. It feels like a long time ago, but it was just May 2016. Uh, we are applying for renovation permissions now. In fact, we hope to have them submitted even next week when we go over. It's in County Wexford, Ireland. Uh, it's two hours south of Dublin. If you went to Dublin, you drove south before you fell into the ocean, you would go right past the castle. Uh, we have three buildings, a tower, a house, and an attachment, uh, agricultural building. We've got a little model in the back. There are basically four families in history, uh, the Sigginses, uh, the Jacobs, who were English, the Wilsons, who were Irish, and now us. So we're kind of a fourth family. Uh, we have five acres, multiple fields, and so there's more archaeology there in those fields. And we have had some heritage events on site already. We did several this summer. They were a lot of fun. Uh, so archaeology so far, we have done uh, three sets of archaeology, some test pits. We found a cobblestone courtyard. Uh, we did some carbon dating of the wicker, which turned out to be gorse in the vault, uh, and tells us it's about the 1500s, the tower. And then we've done a geophysical survey, and so all this good stuff remains to be seen out there. What that is, we can hypothesize. So our tagline, like we'd like to involve more people, and so that's why we're here. We've already made some connections with some of you. It sounds great. We'd maybe consider our project for some education. Um, like uh, we did a student design contest with university students in Ireland. Uh, this is just an example of mapping, down survey, 18th century, 19th century map, uh, current maps, and like what the building really looks like. But there's a lot of uh, different angles here, as I'm sure you can uh, see from any, anything to do with castles. Uh, so how could it help you? I mean, castles are cool. We think, um, we think they're cool at least. We don't know anyone who doesn't think they're cool, even though they think we're a little strange sometimes for what we've done. Um, so lots of students have heard of them. Everyone's imagined living in one. This is a very small scale castle, so you can make it personal. You can branch to many subjects. So we've got archeology, span engineering, math, all these STEM stuff. Emigration, I mean, who here in the room has some sort of Irish ancestry? Okay, so maybe 40%. And we found out, even though I'm born in Scotland, that I do too. I, I, I have 30% Irish in me now. So we think there's a lot of applicability. And this is just the last slide because we thought these would be sent out afterwards. So there are just some um, websites on there. There's our website on there. We have Facebook, of course, too. There are some great things that have already been created for it. We have a poster back there that looks a lot like this, but this is actually our castle. And that poster is a different one that somebody gave us. They said, you should have this poster. <laughs> so they gave it to us. Um, but it's a lot of fun because it kind of talks for kids too about like, what's it like? What does it really look like from the ruin to this? And so, um, you know, stay in contact with us. Thanks for having us.